can see how close we are to Tallinn. I think that's that church in the center of town. All along here, a beautiful bike path and a little bit of a park. Remember, the big park's off to our left beyond that bus. <clears throat> and you could probably ride a mountain bike on this dirt path alongside it. Palace complex seen from the front, I believe. You can see that there's a large deck or patio, whatever, uh, on the top of the basement floor, or the first floor, I'd call it, connecting to this house or building here. Get up and take a closer look in a few moments. This is a Mandus, A-M-A-N-D-U-S, Adam Sun, 1855-1999. So apparently this is the 300-year celebration for this complex. Tempting when you look at a palace to compare it to other palaces in other countries in other times, but it's a difficult thing to do if you're not very knowledgeable about the styles that were in vogue in each of those places at the same time. This casts off a kind of birthday cake image to me. Pretty, I'm not denigrating it. And yet the design is quite simple, really. Of course, the inside is the killer, usually. The doors don't seem to be terribly extravagant. of course interesting is that this family 300 years ago controlled everything we're walking through today and much more the park was just his private enclave everything around it's probably for the sustenance of the place it's a pretty palace more so from the back than the front little chick down here that she's concerned about. Mom and Dad are justifiably very concerned about little one. Don't know if that's original. Over there is the children's park we passed in the very beginning of our morning jaunt. But we'll now continue through the short axis of the park to that cemetery. This is the Kimu Art Museum. Pretty impressive structure, really. Versailles alone. And there's some park art sculptures that we'll look at. I'll just walk by them relatively quickly. <coughs> Now oh, that's modern art over there. Reminds me of what I saw in the Silguda Park area. This looks like a mistake elevated to art. A group of 16 baby sculptures, or not quite baby, this one, unless it has quite a bit of hair. <clears throat> Boys and girls, perhaps. phenomenal amount of effort compared to the time it would have taken a painted painting or drawing artist. He somehow cast. Maybe the back part is the cast part. Me, a person who knows nothing about modern art, much of it seems to be like wine. It has the attributes that you fantasize it has and therefore the price that you fantasize it's worth. climbed up a knoll and 
discovered this building cut off seemingly from everything by roads wonder what it's for this bridge overpass that i'm crossing over you can see past downtown beyond to the right the old town so we're far to the east of the old town what this is is pay park p-a-e Pop Park, and it's a quarry that has been retrofitted as this very lovely water area or park for these residential buildings. But this seems to be a very beautiful and relatively new centerpiece park for, again, new residential complexes around it. What a beautiful amenity. swimming a lot is allowed but and yet it looks like there's some beautiful spots to do exactly that fishing probably okay but also you can see if we look close you can see that there are layers of rock just under the water surface there either a seagull or a tern rookery pretty pedestrian bridge according to my Google Maps Right over there should be that cemetery, but it doesn't look like there's anything there except for those buildings. This must be a huge sewer system that's going in here, which is interesting considering the modest size of the town. I don't know when I will enter the Rotterdam area proper, but we're starting to see a lot of these old industrial revolution type buildings, 18th, 19th century stuff. On the other side of the street, that's the best looking building. The rest of them down there are very communist looking. And this area is filled with these kind of buildings. Cement ugly. I think Sokos Hotel is the old communist micro cement. And these, what look like communist era ugly, are now dominated by huge glass skyscrapers. Well, they're not huge, but they're big for this country. It's supposed to be the site of the Suva sock factory, but I don't see anything Art Deco about it. <laughs> uh, here's a Radisson and an SEB building. It's hard to decipher this without some explanation. It's a woman playing a uh, stringed instrument. It seems like she, there's a sword there in the lower left. She's half reclining. Now we're in the Rotterdam area and we'll wander through here just to look at the remnants of old factories. Terrifyingly old, 1906. Renovated 1950. I think is a nice attempt to turn Stalinesque structure into something not only more livable but actually kind of nice looking. Seeing the lengths to which they went to keep the building stable, wonder how far through those go. And we're going to see what's here. It's been turned into shops. Restaurants, which is an ideal way to reuse such a building. This architectural detail. Notice how they've remodeled up apart and added interesting structure, maybe an owner's home. So we're right in the middle of what once was a factory complex. Cute little bits of snail park art. I'm sure I've been here before, but I don't know why. <laughs> a feeling not much is left of the industrial air. Actually, is the Architecture Museum. They're the modern, and I don't know if that dark building 
as a redo or a new and done in a dark mode. Perhaps to drive home the point. We're almost back to our hostel. Interesting to wonder if that's an industrial building from the 1900s. Perhaps well be plus that building way down 